Michael, do you see uh, the argument made by those in government that there is a role in, in for these investment funds, these big he hedge funds in our property market, albeit not in the mass acquisitions of these family homes? There is a role. I mean, when the tax incentives were introduced, they were introduced to um, so, so that these funds would come in and fund the construction of, of houses, not buy um, houses that had already been built and were for sale to uh, first time buyers or, or people seeking to buy a family home across the country. But I mean, we also have to bear in mind that in a way, local authorities have been doing the same thing for years now. Instead of building new homes, local authorities, including Clare County Council, but every other uh, local authority as well, have been buying homes. And by buying homes, they've been pushing up the price of homes. Instead of building homes, they've been buying homes and of course, taking them off the market so that they become more inaccessible for ordinary people who may not qualify for the housing list, but at the same time are hard pressed to raise the funds to, to buy a starter home and the local authorities have been competing with them for those. So we do really need to take a strategic look at how we're going to supply housing in Ireland. But there's also a lot of derelict buildings right across um, towns and villages in Clare as there are across towns and villages in, in most uh, counties, practically every county in the country. Um, and they, I think, need to be brought back into part of our housing stock, either by the owners need to be incentivised or pressurised into taking them out of dereliction and getting families back into them. And if they don't do that, then the local authorities have a role to play because, uh, you know, not alone would it provide accommodation, it would also put life back into our towns and villages. Catherine Murphy saying if there weren't a pandemic, the young people would be on the streets over this, over this issue. Do you agree? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm surprised that young people aren't on the streets more, notwithstanding <laughs> what's going on. So I don't, uh, I don't know. Is, is it your um, feeling that this is the new COVID now, that we've, we've moved from one crisis into another? Um, I mean, we have more than 60% youth unemployment in Ireland. That's unprecedented. Um, people can't immigrate in the way that they could in the past. I'm, I'm not advocating immigration. Mm. It's a complete uh, indicator of a, a failure of, of state policy. Okay. Uh, but I think youth unemployment is going to be a huge issue right. that this country faces now.